it's time for fun. Hi, welcome back to the Cubby House. I hope that you had a nice restful week after many weeks of going on a mouse hunt with us. I know that I had some time to rest and catch up with my sister. How about you, Megan? Uh, Megan? Oh, uh, sorry. Good morning. Sorry. I mean, welcome to the cubby house. I'm, I'm so tired you came. I mean, I mean, I'm so glad you came. I'm just a bit tired. Yeah. I thought you were going to get some rest this week. Oh, I was. I was hoping to, but I came back to the cubby house uh, to check in on all our friends. I have really missed Drax and Pops and Rainbow Bear and Rainbow Unicorn, and we haven't seen them in weeks. So I wanted to see how they were doing and tell them all about our adventures. But when I got here, they were all arguing. They had all complaints about each other and about us being away and the list goes on and on and so I sat here for the whole week and listened to them and to help them get through their problems. They're doing well now but I'm so tired. I hardly got any sleep and it's hard to listen to everything that was going on while we were gone. Oh man, I bet you are tired. Do you need another week to rest before we leave to take Brownie back to his home? Uh, could we bring all of our friends with us this time on the boat? Unfortunately not. We have a bit of space with our beds and food and packs under the boat, but not enough room for everyone to come. Well, I, I don't know if I can go then. What if they all get into arguments again? Who will help them? I, I don't know, but we promised Brownie that we would help him get back to his house, to his family across the sea. Oh, wait, wait, where, where is Brownie? Oh, I don't know. Can you help us call out to find Brownie? 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 Oh, hi, I'm right here. Oh, I was just reading my Bible that Meg gave me. Oh, that's lovely. Did you learn anything new about God or have any questions? Well, actually, I was reading in the book of Exodus, and I think what I was reading would be really good for you to hear, Megan. Oh, really? Well, I would love to hear it, but maybe we should let our friends go get their Bibles first. Good idea. Why don't you grab your Bible and we'll be right back. Ready for me to tell you a story from the book of Exodus? We know that Moses and the people of Israel escaped out of Egypt. They were wandering in the wilderness. Moses' father-in-law, that's his wife's dad, came to visit Moses and the Israelites. When Jethro saw that Moses was spending all day listening to his people and settling their arguments, and teaching them how to live as God wanted them, Jethro told Moses, it's too big a job just for you. Moses, you should pick some trusted leaders to listen to the people. They can hear their problems. They can teach them how to live God's way. If it's a really big problem someone has, they can still bring it to you. Then you can spend time speaking with God and hearing what he wants the Israelites to know, and you can learn about God too. Moses thought this was a really good idea. He appointed men to help him lead and teach. Thanks for sharing the Bible story with us today, and what a great time for it too. Mm, it sure was. It made me think, I mean, might need to ask someone to help our friends while we're away helping Brownie get home. I have an idea. We could ask Jordan to come by and help them while we're away. He can help them with their disagreements and teach them how to live God's way. But what if there's a problem that he can't help us with? How would he come and get me? Well, he could go to church and ask one of the leaders there. That is an Excellent idea. Wait, are there other people at church? 
Of course there are. Brownie, there's lots of people at church. Church is a place where God's people come together to worship Him together, to learn about Him and connect with each other. I went to church last night and no one was there. I sat and read my Bible all by myself. It made me think I can do church anywhere, if it's just me and my Bible. Well, what time did you go, Brownie? In the middle of the night. That's when I'm most awake. Yeah, you wouldn't find anyone at church in the middle of the night. We normally get together on a Sunday as a church or sometimes other events or days during the week. Oh, I'm sad I missed it. And now I won't be able to go to church since you're going to sail me home. Well, being in the church building is wonderful, but it's not the only way we can experience being together with God's people. We can read our Bible together, we can pray together, sing worship songs to God together, and help and encourage one another right here. And we can also do it on the boat. That's wonderful. I can't wait to do all of that together, especially singing worship songs. I've never done that before. Well, Brownie, let's do that together now. But what if I don't know the words? How about I sing a really simple song that reminds us about the great things that God has done. It's a verse from Psalm 126, 3. It says, The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Would you like to join us too? How about you grab an instrument and meet me in the garden for Music Time with Meg. Music Time with Meg, everyone. Thanks for joining us, Brownie. This is Psalm 126.3. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. We are glad. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. We are glad. Psalm 126. Six, three, Psalm 126 Psalm 126 3 Psalm 126 Psalm 126 3 Psalm 126 Psalm 126 3 The Lord has done great things for us We are glad We are glad Great singing, everyone. Thanks for teaching us that song, Meg. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. You know, we have been looking at the Israelites' journey to freedom. But now the story of Exodus starts to look at the church and what it's like to journey with God. You are on a journey with God too, and God wants you to know that we journey with God, with others. Can you think of someone else who helps learn more about God? It could be your parents, city kids teachers, your pastors at church. What about someone who you share God with? It could be a friend at church, one of your siblings, or a friend at school. We sure do, and I'm thankful that God has given us friends, family, to learn more about living God's way together. Me too. Maybe we should thank God for that right now. That sounds good. Hey, thanks, God. <laughs> well, actually, I was going to pray. Why don't you listen to my words of prayer to God, Brownie, and think of them to God in your own head. Okay, I'll try. Great. Dear God, thank you that you provide us with people to teach us your way. Please help us to listen to them and to live your way together. Amen. Amen. 
Well, we'll see you back here at the Cubby House next week as we get ready to leave on a boat and take Mr. Brown Mouse home. Bye.